Anne Marie. Hi, Gabriella. This is Miss Lisa and Susie. Susie, tell Gabriella how old you are. Hold your fingers up. How old are you? She's five. Now, she's reading really well, but that's because she was really begging me to teach her to read last year. So she learned this last year. But we wanted to show you how to use your new phonics blends give you a little how-to video that we thought you might like on how to do this. So you cut out the consonant pieces into little strips and when we're not using them, we just paper clip them onto the other pieces. So you've got all these blends, the A, D, add, UG, UT, N, at, all these. But you'll start with these ones, the at blends, okay? So Susie, tell us what a T says. At. At. Very good. Now, if I hold a consonant in front of it, I want you to read the word that it makes. What does A T say if we add a B? Bat. 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 Good. How about this one? C. Cat. Good. How about this one? Dat. Dat. That's not a word. <laughs> Dat. That's crazy. How about F? Uh, fat. Fat. Fat's fat, a word. Fat, like fat, fat, cat. cat took a bat <laughs> and played baseball. How about, what do we wear sometimes? Let's see, how about if we put an H in front? What's that say? H in front of the at. What's that say? An H. H. Oh, hat. Hat, I good job. Nope, H. How about if we put an M in front of at? What does that uh, say? Mat. Mat, good. Okay, oops, can you see it? I'm sorry. <laughs> there, okay, what's that say? Mat. Matt, right, good. Okay, so let's move on to another one just to give her an example. What does, what does uh, UG say? Uh, wait. Sound it out. It's okay, take your time. Uh, yeah. Right, so that'd be UG, uh, right? What if we put an H in front of UG? What's that say? Uh, hug. Hug. What if we put a J in front of UG? What's that say? Jug. Jug. What if Jug. we put an M in front of UG? What's that say? Mug. Mug. Good. Okay. So you get the idea. That's how you do the phonics blends. Once they master all of those, then you move on to the little stories, which I like to keep in a little oh, baggie. Yes, Look, she's like, oh yeah, I remember those. Because yeah. she's moved on. But, right, okay, so for, let's give her a quick example. What's okay. level three, book four called? Uh, a toy for a boy. Good. Can you read these new words and sounds? This is a hard uh, one. Clothes. Clothes. And clothes. Clothes. And this is a sight Here. word. Here, right, and that's a sight word. Some of these words you just have to do with flashcards until she learns them. Um, here's some words that follow different words. Pretty. Pretty. Listen. Listen, good. Listen. Where? Close. Wait. Uh, were. Were, were. Right. W-H-E-R-E is where, but that's were. Were. Okay, were. Good. So, and then you go through and you practice the book. And you only do, this is a lot of words. This, this is because it's a level three book. But you only do one phonics reader I did that one per week. Once. So we read like at mass, the little easy first book. Level I one, book one. one. I know you read that one. You've read, I think, all of these. But you can read them for fun if you want. Not all um, of them. Maybe all of them. But anyway, so you can read them I as slow or as fast as, as, as you want. But they recommend, and I recommend, do one phonics book, one reader per week. So we would read at mass each day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on Friday, I'd say, look at this. Susie knows how to read. And she would read it to daddy at the end of the week. And he would just be, you know, amazed and blown away that okay. she could read. What's that one called? Little Anne. Little Anne. Some of them Little are very Anne. funny stories and they really like them. Little Anne. So um, the only other thing that I would recommend you get is just some simple flashcards for, um, sight words and you're not going to start with the whole box the whole box is like i don't know 50 sight words or something more than that we start with like two or three and then once she'd have those we'd add a couple more and then we'd go back and review some more and you know you want to start with the ones like and and the and uh ones that she's going to see a lot um and then you can start with some harder ones susie what's this say first first what does oh here's a hard one what's this say 
World. Close. Uh, would. would. Like he would go, but it's raining. So then sometimes I put them in sentences, especially if it's a really tricky one. They're like, I don't know where I'm going to read this. But um, after that, honestly, it just flies. They'll just catch on and they'll just be reading. And then now the she's... Found rosary. The Found Rosary. Ooh, level three, book six. I don't even remember that book. But anyway, so once they read those, they'll move on to... Here it is. Book one, level one is called um, Pre-Primer. Wait, here. Pre-Primer, book one, one. Um, here we come, and then, so they're like little, like I'm talking easy, see this, and, go up and, really easy. That's book one, and then there's uh, book one, two, book one, three, and then they move up to the second grade readers, which is two, one, two, 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 three, and then they move to the third grade readers, which is what Susie, is in now because she's a bookworm but see here's two one these are our neighbors and this so this is like the first second grade book um it's still actually all words that she'll have encountered by then it just has a few pictures and a little bit more length to it but by then she'll love it she'll just be diving right in so all right let me know if you have any other questions i'm going to try to go rest while sebastian rests get rid of the last of this headache all right bye girls bye